What's going on YouTube world? Austin Lewis here coming to you guys live, not really live, but with another YouTube video. And stay tuned because in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the average surcharge profit per ATM machine per location. If you guys haven't already, make sure and go smash that thumbs up. Make sure and go drop in the comment section below. If you guys are brand new here, show your boy some love. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. If you guys do not know who I am, again, Austin Lewis, already, you guys already know. Uh, my Instagram handle is the Austin Lewis, and uh, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur that uh, has a marketing company called A Legacy Marketing. I own a, an ATM company. Uh, which is what we specialize here on this current channel. Uh, I wanna start doing some more lifestyle videos for you guys. I wanna start doing some more daily vlogs for you guys, which we're gonna jump into that, but this is gonna be an ATM video, but uh, also own a, a real estate company as well. Ah, <sighs> we stay busy, baby, we stay busy. So if you guys haven't already, make sure and go subscribe. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I love every single one of you guys, especially the ones that are coming from TikTok, the ones that are coming from Instagram, the ones that are coming from YouTube, and you guys shooting me a message on my Instagram, in my DMs, is freaking sweet. And you guys actually tagging me, because you guys are watching my videos, I appreciate you guys unbelievably. You guys know who you guys are. So in this video, I'm actually gonna be sharing with you guys the average surcharge profits, obviously depending on each location. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about barbershops. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about salons. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about bars. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about pool halls. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about laundromats. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about pizza joints. I'm, be, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the locations that you know, we personally have, um, that we personally own, what I see, the different variables, uh, and just some statistics for you guys. So uh, make sure, and again, like I said, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, uh, but I wanna break it down for you guys because I want you guys to know getting into the business what you guys can actually expect inside the ATM business and what you guys can actually expect when it comes to the monthly returns or daily returns from your guys' personal ATM portfolio and your guys' ATM business. For those of you that don't know who I am, uh, you know, Austin and I, my partner, uh, we own right around 100 ATM machines. Uh, 90 of them we do not load and 10 of them we do load just for YouTube state, the state, uh, Instagram and, and just showing some, some credibility. So we got right around 100 uh, ATM machines personally that we get paid on every single month. Uh, by far the most fun, interesting business uh, that we've actually ever been uh, involved in. And so before I even get into the video, I just wanna share with you guys, if you guys wanna join a free Facebook group, it is literally our free Facebook group, ATM group. It is uh, in the link in the description below. Uh, if you guys wanna purchase an ATM, uh, rather than emailing us, or shooting me a DM, telling me you wanna purchase, which I know a lot of you guys do. Um, we actually now have a link for that you guys can actually go purchase an ATM for. So check the link in the description below. Uh, that will be uh, the link to be able to purchase an ATM, $24.95 uh, plus tax, and it's rocket and rolling. That includes programming, that includes shipping, that includes everything. So uh, you guys can take a look at that in the link in the description below. If you guys do have any questions, make sure and email us as well. Uh, and uh, we're gonna get rocking and rolling in this video, ladies and gentlemen. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, let's roll. So I wanna talk to you guys about the average surcharge profits, right? Um, I wanna talk to you guys about you know the different locations, what you guys can expect, what you guys uh, don't need to expect. On average, eight to 14% of individuals that walk into any business actually use an ATM. Now, obviously when you guys are going and landing contracts, one thing that you guys got to do actually remember is I want you guys to remember that, uh, you know, a credit card business and a cash business, these are gonna be completely different numbers, okay? These are gonna be completely different numbers. In fact, I'll actually share with you guys the average between the two uh, being one cash and the other being a card. What you can actually see with the business and what you can see the difference amount. Now, obviously, I am not gonna be giving you guys income, income claims. I'm gonna be giving you guys averages. 
Uh, I'm not gonna say, hey, this is actually what's going to happen. It's not, I just wanna give you guys an idea. I just want you guys to see somewhat of what these ATM machines are actually producing depending on location, depending on area. Now, I do wanna share with you guys one thing. That one thing being, honestly, you're probably not gonna get into dispensaries. Honestly, you're probably not gonna get into strip clubs, okay? These owners of these uh, locations are not dumb, right? They're just gonna purchase an ATM themselves, right? Because they know they're making the money. They know how much money it's gonna produce. So why not just purchase an ATM themselves? So if you guys are in those, awesome, sweet, but it has not happened too often. We're in a couple, but we have uh, some interesting relationships with those individuals. So I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the difference between cash, difference between card. I'm gonna be going through the locations on average, what you see. So I want you guys to bear with me here. The first one, let's just talk about a barber, right? A barber cash, a barber uh, card. I just want you guys to um, have an idea of what uh, you know you, you guys can expect to see with a cash and a card. So again, I'm talking to you guys about my personal portfolio. So I really want you guys to remember that. I, now, what you do with this information is totally up to you. Is it gonna be exactly how it's gonna happen for you? Honestly, probably not, okay? So uh, Barber All Cash for us makes us anywhere from 500 to $1,800 a month, okay? That is all cash. A card in our personal ATM business, uh, a card, a, 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 a business that allows you to use your credit card or debit card makes us anywhere from 250 to 450 every single month, okay? Now again, that's a barbershop, ladies and gentlemen. You guys gotta realize that an ATM profits varies every single time because of location, because of surcharge profit, because of you know the, the, the actual business. How many chairs does a barbershop have? There's so many things that dictate ATM profits that it's not even like realistic for me to come to you or for other individuals to come to you and say, hey, if you put an ATM in a barbershop, you're gonna make on average this number. No, it totally depends, right? Is it all cash? Is it not all cash? Sometimes, why, why, what's the difference between 250 and 450? Location, location of the, of the business, right? Is the difference between that. What's the difference between 500 and 1800? Location, there's a ton of different variables inside this for an ATM machine that does these random numbers, right? Uh, next one I wanna talk to you guys about is a salon, okay? A, a, all cash salon. Uh, inside our business, uh, we see on average 650 to 950 a month, okay? In card, it's actually kind of funny. I have a couple of salons depending on location. I have a couple of salons that actually do like eight to nine hundred dollars a month in profits. like insane. Um, I have some that do five to six hundred dollars a month in cards because of the actual location But I'm just gonna average you guys out uh, what it is with a, a salon in doing a card and and that is on average 300 to 450 every single month um, Is what we see with a uh, ATM machine inside of a carded inside of a carded uh, salon so that's something you guys gotta take uh, in accountability. I'm gonna run through the next one. The next one is actually going to be uh, a laundry mat. And this one's honestly kind of interesting. Uh, you know, I, I had never thought in a million years that a laundry mat would do good. Um, but you know, a lot of people uh, don't even realize that there's usually not any workers at a laundry mat. Um, you just show up, do your quarters, and, and it rocks and rolls. If a machine breaks, you move on to the next one, take your clothes out, and hopefully the by next week or next couple days, the that one's uh, fixed. Um, uh, laundry mat right now, we're seeing with it all cash, we're seeing anywhere from 650 to $800 a month in terms of all cash uh, laundry mat. Now, obviously, uh, laundry mats have those little quarter machines because you got to use quarters. Um, that's obviously something you guys got to take into account. A lot of people have a lot of quarters, um, or at least people that are doing stuff at laundry mats. I've personally never gone to a laundry mat and used a laundry mat for my own personal self. So uh, that's on average. And then obviously with uh, 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 them actually having employees um, and actually able to do like cash back and things like that, um, it varies, right? But majority of, of laundry mats are all cash. 
Um, and that's just something you guys got to remember. So on average right now, we do have a location that actually does have an employee. It is a nicer uh, laundry mat. You know, we're seeing right around, you know, 300 to $350 a month in uh, ATM profits uh, with a laundry mat. Um, so again, you know, that's, there's so many variables that you guys can see clearly right now with an ATM machine, uh, depending on locations, right? I'm talking like variables in terms of like, even the state matters, like even the state, like you can go to New Jersey or New York and there's, the surcharges are gonna be a whole heck of a lot higher than you're gonna see in, in you know, your regular states like Washington or something, right? Um, you know, obviously due to travelers, there's so many variables to the ATM business that I just want to break it down like on average what, what you guys can see, right? Now, obviously, these are not going to be perfect numbers um, if you guys can even read my handwriting, but, um, the, you know, th this gives you an idea of what our personal ATM portfolio actually looks like. So, um, you know, obviously, you guys know that uh, bars are not all cash, or at least majority here in Arizona. So just an average bar that we see um, is uh, $500 a month, all the way up to our largest bar. You know, you, you, you can expect to see some pretty substantial numbers in it being $1,500 a month. Um, uh, that's again one ATM machine inside of a bar, right? Now, obviously, a bar, um, you know, people go there for a reason and people get cash out there for a reason. Again, a lot of alcohol is involved in this, and so a lot of alcohol becomes a lot of, right? And when that happens, then people are pulling out cash in order to purchase that stuff. So, um, bars, obviously, tips as well. P to people don't like leaving tips on a card nowadays, people like giving cash tips. I'm the same way. So, uh, next one. Uh, we're going to be talking about is going to be uh, pool halls. Obviously, pool halls, again, are just like bars. They're not all cash. Um, pool halls are, are very different and, 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 and interesting uh, locations. We see on average anywhere from 200 to 750 a month. Uh, between these machines. Uh, again, there's so many variables that happen inside of this. Um, and, and it makes it interesting. You know, pool hall is, is a place that, do you need cash? Sure. Can you get cash back? Absolutely. But do you need cash in order to play pool and do that whole thing? Uh, you know, technically no. Um, but again, drinking's involved and, and sports bettings. Again, it just depends on, on the actual, um, you know, location of, of the pool hall, right? Um, next one I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is going to be uh, restaurants. Now, obviously, you, as you guys are familiar, there's so many different restaurants out there. You know, there's your all, all cash Mexican uh, little little taco shops on the side of the road that are all cash. Obviously, you have to have cash in order to, to purchase anything. Then there's your restaurants that are just very standard and generic. Um, but, you know, most restaurants obviously take card, right? Um, and the restaurants that do take card, uh, I, I think are very similar to the restaurants that do cash because there's not a lot of restaurants that don't do cash. Um, but one thing you guys got to remember with a restaurant is the restaurant only, you're only going to use an ATM in the restaurant obviously when you need cash, but that's just like any other business out here but or any other location out here. But one thing I want you guys to remember is if you're going to a location you're at, or a restaurant, chances are you're going somewhere after. Um, chances are you're going somewhere after, obviously depending on the actual restaurant itself. So that's just something you guys got to understand it and location in, in your restaurant is actually going to one of what's going to be the most viable thing to look at is where's is that restaurant actually held right. Um, and I truly believe that for all of these uh, locations personally, honestly, uh, what, what, what's around there? What, why is it by what, what's it by? Is there a lot of walk in traffic? Is there not a lot of walk in traffic? If you guys haven't seen my other videos, I have other videos talking about this stuff. Um, talking about the, the things that we look at per location and why it varies so much and what you can expect to see and what you can't expect to see. Um, uh, but you know, restaurants in particular, they have to have a reason to go somewhere uh, after in order to use this cash because again, they're not gonna use it, go to the restaurant and just go home and pull out cash for no reason. Chances are people are pulling out cash at a restaurant in order to actually, uh, you know, go do something. You know, pay for valet, for example, pay for valet. Um, depending on the restaurant. Some restaurants don't have ballet. Um, again, that's just something you guys got to take into account, right? Um, so again, ladies and gentlemen, 
Oh, talking about restaurant profits, this is what we see on average. Uh, on average, we see 350. I'm not gonna say all cash and cash because we actually do not have an all cash restaurant. Um, but I'm just gonna say on average for us, it's 350 to about 750 a month in actual profits um, is what we see depending on uh, the actual restaurant in itself. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> hopefully you guys got uh, some value out of this. If you did fast forward, make sure and rewind so that you can see me actually breaking each one of these down um, so that you guys actually understand fully what it is that I'm talking about here um, and why I'm talking about the different variables. Again, barbers, this depends on how many chairs, it depends on the location, it depends on uh, is it all cash or is it card. Salons, it depends on location, literally location of the salon. Uh, it depends on are they all cash or are they card? Do they take tips card? Do they take tips card? That's an interesting one. Most salons don't take tips card. That's something you guys gotta take into account. Laundry mats, do they have employees or do they have no employees? If they do have employees, they'll do a little bit less in transactions. If they do, don't have employees, it'll do a little bit more. A bar. On average, you know, $500 to $1,500 a month is what we see on average in our bars. What dictates that? Do they play the fights? Do they purchase the UFC fights? Do they purchase the boxing fights? Some bars in, in Scottsdale, some bars in Arizona, some bars in your city might not purchase those fights because it's too expensive. Um, you know, they might not purchase the, 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 that certain show or that certain uh, sporting event that's actually going on. Other, other bars are going to. Therefore, there's going to be more transactions at uh, that business. Pool hall, you know what I mean? On average, what's the location? How big is the pool hall? Is there a couple of pool tables or is there a massive amount? That's always going to dictate what your profits are going to be. And then obviously, we already talked about restaurants. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys haven't already, make sure and go smash that thumbs up. Make sure and go subscribe to your boy. Drop in the comment section below what you guys would like to see in future videos. Whew. And we'll see you guys in the next one.